And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Tarek Lee. It's Rank Up Sunday. We're playing some of our favorites from the previous week. This deck did quite well whenever we played it last time and went 4-1 with it. And we just got brand new Lee Sin. Remember that first day with the, the new newly designed Lee Sin? We played four different Lee Sin decks, and this is the one that did the best. We're going to make one small change. We're going to take out the Stand United for another Blessing of Targon. Remember, our Blessing of Targon was was really good, or just one of last time. So we'll play a second copy. I still really like Stand United, though, but we're just going to play a second copy. But yeah, we're going to be playing a lot of spells. We're going to be doing some supporting. We're going to have River Shaper get some more spells for us, and we're going to be really focused on our two champions taking over the game. So we're going to go play five games in ranked because it's rank up Sunday. We're going to try to gain some rank back. All right, similar kind of deck, same regions. Both Lee Sin, they're going with Zed. I'm going with Tarek. All right, these work well with Tarek. Um, I kind of want to keep all of these. I don't know, I guess we'll let's get rid of Guiding Touch. We do need to find another unit, obviously. We need to find something else for Tarek to support. I didn't think that would be that difficult find another unit. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Uh, maybe it is. Yay. Our deck has Ouch. That's going to hurt. Uh going to cast this now see if we find a blocker. Okay, okay. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Our deck has 19 total units. So 21 spells, 19 units. Please control. We go as one. You lack subtlety. Hey, potato. Get that yard work done. Thanks for stopping by during your break. Beware the dragon spirit. So I can pale cascade and turn this into a 5 5 challenger. So will they be able to keep their Zed alive? Like, do they have their own Pale Cascade or something else? The enemy quivers with fear. Zed's putting a lot of pressure on us. I'll see this through. I mean, this is the game here if they keep their Zed alive. Okay, good. They were not able to keep Zed alive. That's very good. My plan this next turn is to go Zenith Blade to start with on the Taric. They could put something a lot better in, like a Zed. Yeah, Mentor of the Stones. That's a lot better. Fourteen. Good. Definitely worried about Will of Ionia. I don't know why they're drawing more cards though. They they don't have they don't have room for these cards. I don't know what they're doing. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. They say these were from the protector himself. They could have put those both on the Shadow Assassin and killed my River Shaper. All right, so we drew our other two Zenith Blades. River Shaper strikes, we draw another spell. That's a good one for sure. Drawing a lot of cards over here. These 
gems grant a wearer common. Could put that back in their hand with Will of Ionia. Remember my oh wait, I don't have Concussive Palm and Will of Ionia mana. Right, because that thing costs five now. I can't do both. I guess I'm taking another six. Life. So I got three out of seven right now. So four, five, six, seven. So we can level up Tarek, but we won't have the Tarek bonus. Oh. <clears throat> that changes things. I guess I should be playing Lee Sin. attack. So they only have three three cards that we don't know about. My plan is to play Eye of the Dragon. And I could be good. Another Will of Ionia? I guess, let's see. No, never mind. Okay, wait. If I play Eye of the Dragon... Okay, yeah, I still have ten mana next turn. I guess I should have attacked with like this gift giver to get this out of here. I still do have ten mana, but I don't get a draggling. I'll just pass. I will not hold back. So they just played the Zenith Blade that I didn't know about, not the one that I knew about. So now they only have one card I don't know about. Yeah, we have double Will of Ionia available. Will plus deny. We're not going to cast Will Will because then they deny this Will and we lose. So do I, I guess I deny, not will. So I deny there, deny. The order rewards its fate. All right. Should be game. Extend your senses, the dragon himself. I will not hold back. I'll see this through. All right, let's support this other overwhelm. I don't really imagine they're getting through this. You lack subtlety. You cannot escape. This is not the way. Lee Sin doing his thing. All right, GGs want to know. A gift from the river folk. <laughs> We're deep. Protector. 
That's weird. The waters take. Master. A, misstep. a gift from the river folk. Ionia endure. Why didn't I overwhelm Lee? Because they needed to... They needed to answer Lee anyway. It didn't really make sense to, to cast the, the overwhelm thing on Lee, because then they could just bounce Lee. Like, they need to get rid of the Lee. Alright, let's keep this hand. This looks good. I have the dragon early. I like that. It's the... I have the dragon. It's the attune of the mana. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Hmm. They're playing claws at the dragon. No, no blocks. River shape the land and give it life. That river shaper was a really good at draw. Beauty and life. Just filled my curve very well. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Dead in their traps. Shatter that. Still get to kill my river shaper. And so maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Because I am sacrificing my river shaper. What form will the waters take? Ah. I gotta kill that twisted fate. I'm not really playing removal. Okay, never mind. There's removal. It's kind of a weird time for a pick a card, right? Because they, they just have three fleeting cards, but they only have five mana. So it's, it's not even like really easy to play. It's definitely not easy to play three spells with five mana. Rain from a cloudless sky. Wow, not even challenging Tarek. So basically bouncing to reset... I mean, I know they get to cast the card again, but resetting that count of what they're drawing. Now, let's see, if I... So problem here, I want to play Zenith Blade on the Taric, but then they gold card. That's three. That's four. Five six. Close to leveling up, but not quite. Spring does not pity winter. Spring, it's the claws of the dragon. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. Yeah, that was a very good, yeah, very good tempo turn for us. Getting those free three twos. Got a lot of damage. We are now. You know, pretty far ahead in on on the board. They're doing their thing, drawing their cards. Breathe in, breathe out. Like a fish in water. <laughs> so I feel pretty good about us winning this game. <clears throat> I'll just get this Tarek overwhelm, and we'll level up Tarek as well. Yeah, now we get a Dragling for next turn also. What is gained when you return malevolence? Dazzling. Honor the mountain. Unyielding. Why are you here? 
Our Twisted Fate's at 6 out of 8. Hmm. This is them taking 6. Pumping up this thing so they can't just have a 1 damage spell to kill the Draggling. I played, yeah, I played multiple spells. We're gonna get a draggling. A little luck for those who need it. Yeah, Blessing of Targon's been good. Keep up, keep up. Mm, that's a leveled up Twisted Fate. Now this game's heating up. I'm gonna wait on hush for next turn. Next turn we're gonna I'm going to um hush twisted fate. Eyes open. That's my plan right now. It's not gonna be easy getting this the rest of this damage in. Next turn. Maybe I need a Zenith here. I just have so many ways to stop me. I was pretty confident in this game. Yeah, so yeah, I can force their hand to have Will or Concussive Palm with just Blessing of Targon and Hush. No, that, that doesn't even work. They just block with the, the Tasty Fae Folk. No, I mean, that's not even lethal through the Tasty Fae Folk, if I go Blessing of Targon. No. So I think, I, re I regret Concussive Palming their 4-2, which would have just blocked with my 2-1, and then cast both of my Zenith Blades on my two large things right there. They would have gone, they would have gained 4, go up to 8. But I would have had both of my things Zenith Blade, so then I could open attack and hush and Blessing of Targon and have and Blessing of Targon both of them, because I'd be able to copy it over and they, they needed to both have Overwhelm. So that's where I messed that game up. No, that game was that game was hundred percent over with leveled up Twisted Fate and millions of cards. Hello. Up here, or I'll cut him out. Maybe not 100%, but like 95, 99, and just for how much we'd have to fight to maybe like a under, definitely under a very small percent chance of us winning that, and I, I just want to go on to the next game. Leveled up Twisted Fate is frustrating to play against. It's tough for me to tell you exactly which deck to craft, because that's different for everybody. Like, what well, maybe, like, my best deck for crafting may not be your best deck for crafting, and so on, for, for climbing. You yeah, know, so right. it's, I don't want to just, like, tell you one thing, and then it's, it's not the best. You know, it's, that's it, difficult to say. Um, no, I have not played an Elise Spider deck recently. For myself, the deck that I am currently right now the most confident in climbing is going to be the deck that we are playing up next. 
bad for the teeth, though. After this, which is going to be Mountain Diana. Open wide, sugar. I like how I like how my Mountain Diana has a really low curve. Lots of, like it's filled and filled with cheap spells, but then it has so much invoke that it has a great late game also. So it doesn't get run over in the early game, but then it also does have a late game, a really good late game as well. So that's what I like about that deck. At least it's a pretty decent draw. They say these were from the protector himself. Take down a cutthroat. Center your spirit. The cutthroats don't hit very hard. Ooh, got some fighting ya. Yeah, Mountain Diana is yeah, it's a mid-range deck. A little on the control side. Definitely, yeah, you got it exactly. Whatever your best deck for climbing is, is going to be based on your play style and everything. It's That's going to be a different answer for different people. Each life a rare for sure. Up there in the mountains. Well, we're hoping we're not getting run over too fast. The Sonic Wave could be good. I guess if I do Sonic, I guess if I Sonic Wave the Taric, then we would push the Sonic Wave over to the Lee Sin, and I don't really want that. I would not hold back. To protect all, prepare yourself. Choose the right time. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. I wonder if it's possible that I should pass turn. Uh, they're not passing turn to give me that option. Look sharp. Sight firm. It's just gonna give Mentor the stones. I think Mentor Stone's a 2-3 with Toph. Celestial power. Center your spirit. Unyielding. I've definitely played Gangplank Twisted Fate before, but I don't think since I haven't since the new set. We've played Gangplank Twisted Bait before. We've played a little bit of Gangplank Twisted Bait with Shadow Isles. Right, like we took the kind of turned the Misfortune attack into that. Fail Cascade, no. Wish I had one more mana. I could double Concussive Palm. I feel pretty good about winning next turn if my opponent doesn't win here. I will not hold back. I'll see this through. I am reborn of salt and pride. I think Leona is my, you know, like the other day someone was asking like what, what the worst champion is and Chad immediately said like Vladimir and Katarina, but honestly thinking about it more, I really think that the worst champion is Leona. You know, Leona's just, you know, like that, that arachnoid card, um, arachnoid sentry. And that's, that's all Leona is. Like you have a champion that's just, you play it, you stun one thing. That is not exciting. Two powder kegs. 
probably be safe. I fight with the dragon's fury. So yeah, she's a she's a support champion couple of late game champs. I would rather just have another champion that can win the game and just play other cards that can block. It's not that difficult to find cards that can block. Alright, well, hopefully this is game. I will not hold back. Our enemies cannot hide. These are both gonna be lethal. They can't take damage or die. Prepare yourself. They're going down to negative 26 right now. All right, looks like I'll do it. I thank you, dragon. What do we got? Okay, good hand. So yeah, I, I mean, Leon, I mean, it's just a three five also. Whenever you're talking about like four or five mana cards, you know, like there's a lot of five fives running around. Sure, it can turn into a four six, but it doesn't have like regenerate or anything. It's not like something that usually like you're, you're not like pressuring with Leona too much. Be you know, people aren't attacking and blocking that much with Leona. Not too excited about that card. Yeah, so we're playing against Karma Ezreal, maybe. Maybe I should have mulliganed Mentor the Stones with Mentor the Stones dying so easily. We each hold a world within. Of course, we do have the Pale Cascade that can kind of protect it. And even if it dies, we get all the gems that are good for Lee Sin. So I probably don't want to protect. Time for a true display of skill. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Can't stop me. Blah. Firing. Speak, stars. Speak, I Probably say. don't want to really protect Mentor the Stones. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. The enemy quivers with fear. Celestial power. Your attack is obvious. A little surprised Ezreal's getting in there. Cannot win. Makes more sense. I will not hold back. All right, so we got to heal our Eye of the Dragon. I cancel out that Mystic Shot they had. I don't miss. Well, you're not taking a shot. I'll see this room. So it sounds like you missed. I will not hold that. Yeah, Cosmic Inspiration with Heimer Turrets is broken. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Conflict is all in the mind. It's a challenger for Lee Sin. I'll see this through. Barrier as well. Prepare yourself. I have deny.
They still have four mana. Both these just being two mana answers. So they could have their own deny or another concussive palm or something. But we're going to force them to have that. So their Ezreal's at six. Already. What is gained when we return malevolence? It's not bragging if you can back it up. I will not hold. The dragon spirit awakens. Well, that was a pretty good hush. Clear your heart. Let your instinct speak. That was pretty good. Alright, got Ezreal finally out of here. Wouldn't be surprised if they play Karma. That could definitely be bad news if they do play Karma. Alright, good, no Karma. I'm planning on playing Zenith Blade, but I won't be drawing a card off of Zenith Blade. True power requires restraint. Okay, okay. I can mentor the stones, pump up the Eye of the Dragon to be a 3-5, Zenith Blade it, have it be a 4-7 attack. If they block with their 6-6, six, six, we have our Pale Cascade. Patience is underrated. Looking into the future, I see purple. I'm gonna do that. I'll see this through. No. Humility before power. Conflict is all in the mind. That's definitely a really good one to draw. <clears throat> so I can heal this Eye of the Dragon back. That's a very good one to draw. Where there is life, there is hope. More overwhelm. I will not hold back. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? I'll see this through. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. All right, so we played our two spells. Foolish to underestimate you. They've played zero spells so far. Kind of was Zenith played this Claws of the Dragon. Uh, I think we do that. Now they could have a mystic shot right now, but at least it's not something they're going to be double spelling with. Okay, good. Alright, so can we beat a leveled up karma? We got some overwhelm stuff. Not easy to beat leveled up karma, but we are going to try. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. Not all mean well. Alright, so I mean they're 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 definitely just stunning the Karma, or like stunning my Lee Sin. Yeah, like I could go like this or something. They're still just gonna stun the Lee Sin. So this does keep their Karma alive. But this also, because they're they're definitely gonna stun or do something to the Lee Sin. But it also gives away the least. It's also like the the largest health thing. How I'm gonna be definitely trying to kill them this turn. It's the largest health as far as blocking my overwhelm units. Go. Let's see what they got. 
Definitely stopping the Lee Sin. So if my goal was to simply kill Karma, I would want to challenge something else and force them to block with Karma elsewhere. But my goal is to do 9 damage to them. That's a great start for them. 1 mana draw 4. With 13 mana, that's a great start. Another 1 mana draw 4. They did just discard an Ezreal. We killed an Ezreal earlier, so they're down to 1 Ezreal left. Cards in deck 15. But the, the most important number is the mana, down to 11. So Flash of Brilliance, Deep Meditation, Concussive Palm, and Ezreal. Discarding Concussive Palm. They'd rather spend... I guess that's still four mana, like... Concussive Palm. So they're, so they're at three mana now? That still puts them to zero. And they pass priority to me? Alright, that puts them down to zero. So I don't feel like I have to do anything. According to the according to the eye of the dragon. GG's! Three and one. What did they I wonder what they wanted over that concussive ball? Alright, so I just realized that we are at Cool, Nocturne Nightfall, I like that. Um, we are back at the same LP as what we started with, 107. We either started with 103 or 107. I mean, that's, that's the same number. So we're back to the, These back to our original LP now. And we have gone, let's see, what's our record on the day? Eight and six. All right, so eight and six to stay the same ranking. We were peaceful once. All right, gonna pass. We're not gonna spend the two mana on Claws the Dragon. It's just so likely it's going to come into play for free later, and that two mana, if we draw, like, Bale Cascade, Guiding Touch, that kind of stuff could be really important with Taric. I'm glad they're attacking with Lunari Duskbringer, I think. That we're trading there, but I guess this one drop can just trade with River Shaper anyway. <clears throat> as far as trading with River Shaper goes. River shape the land and give it life. I could wait. I could not attack and not try trading and wait. I think we wait, because then I can have Taric. Turn four, turn five, we go the Taric champion spell. Buff these both up, plus three, plus three. A little worried there. This could be me playing too slow, and that I should have just played the Claws of the Dragon and blocked that thing. This could just be me playing all too slow. But playing to win and not to not lose. Go down to nine. Each life a rare jewel. I'm going to play to win the game. Mother Moon, guide me. It's 
So that thing does not have elusive. Honor the mountain. Look sharp. Unyielding. Be the second spell. Claws of the dragons will come in. Obviously, the card that I want to see the least is Cygnus. Can't stop Cygnus right now, but we're about to draw a spell with River Shaper, so we want to be drawing like Concussive Palms and Will of Ionias. That's what we want to find. Admire me later. Um, Concussive Palm, Will of Ionia, Guiding Touch would at least gain two life and draw a card. Those are the cards that we want to be finding. Gift from the river folk. Not Zenith Blade. Not that one. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Chosen of the moon. All right, we got William. It's not a Cygnus turn, though. I kind of need William for next turn. <laughs> Snipefall cards are good. So cheap. Time of need. Face your heretic. You lack subtlety. One. Spring does not one. You lack subtlety. This would be a great time. I mean, we don't have the six mana, but this would be a great time for. Uh, it's time to shine. Stand United instead of the Blessing of Targon. Hope crystallizes. I don't really I don't have like any I don't really imagine that we're gonna be winning this. This is a good good turn for them, good hand. These Nightfall cards are pretty awesome. I like the Nightfall cards a lot more than the Daybreak cards. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. I'm not creating a Nightfall card. So that does not level up Taric, where if I go this route, we level up Taric. Either way is great. I, I probably just shouldn't even be attacking with the mentor of the stones. Sisters. Alright. <laughs> Gems do not heal face. Unfortunately. GG's. Alright, a three and two there with Tarek Lee. A lot of really good, interesting games. It's a fun deck to play, a challenging deck to play, 
Um, <laughs> I guess that's a pun because you get to challenge with Lee Sin. But no, a challenging deck to play because there are a lot of decisions of when to uh, when to play things and uh, how to play things and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so there we go. Um, we had a good hand there that they just had a, they just had a better one. Nightfall cards, I think are I think that Nightfall deck is still underrated. I think it's a good deck. All right, that's Tarek Lee, though. Lee Sin, definitely playable now at four mana. Much more playable than was before. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, please hit that like button over there and also leave those comments. If you've been uh, having any, any success with Lee Sin in any other ways or Tarek or anything else, anything you want to see on the channel, let me know. Leave those comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.